So first, let's ask why we're even touching on this topic. Well, I often get questions by people. They want to know what's the difference between threading and vectorization. Then after I explain it, they want to know, well, which should I use? So we're going to answer those questions right now. First, let's talk about what vectorization is. So it's usually performed on arrays, although it doesn't have to be. It could be performed on any contiguous memory block. Vectorization is where you perform one operation on multiple array elements, thus saving CPU time. Imagine you have an array of a thousand integers, and you could perform operations four at a time. Well, that reduces your CPU overhead by four. So it's a very big performance win. Technically, vectorization is known as single instruction multiple data, or SIMD. That's because it does a single operation on multiple pieces of data. So now we're going to take a fairly technical look at vectorization. In fact, we're going to drill right down to assembly language. So here I have a really simple program. It's got a buffer with a thousand integers. And I'm going to use the debugger, even though this has been compiled without debugging. But Visual Studio will still stop in this breakpoint. And once we get there, we're going to go ahead and do a disassembly on this and take a look at it. First thing I'd like to point out is that into XMM1, it's moving this value. Notice that there are four ones in there. And the reason it's moving four ones into there is because those are the ones that are, that are eventually going to get added. Notice how they're packed. So it, there are four integers packed into this one value. Okay, and this is just kind of set up right here. So the first thing it does, it grabs the first double word out of the buffer. And the important thing to look at is P-A-D-D-D. -D. What that means is do a packed add. It's going to take this value up here and add it to that register. So it's doing a packed add. It's adding one to four different sections of that register. Finally, it stores that back into the buffer. And just as an optimization, it repeats this over again. Um, DEC RCX, that's just like a loop counter. I know that RC code has a for loop. But under the cover, CX, ECX, and RCX are much better at being loop counters. One thing I would like to point out, so let's take a look at this value. Our loop counter is only 125, so we're only going to loop through 125 times and not 1,000. The reason it's 125 is because we do two vectorizations here. So that already cuts it in half. Now all we need is 500. And then, since each one of these is four adds, which are packed, we, we cut that into four and we get down to 125. So the loop only happens 125 times. Now what I'd like to point out is that the compiler doesn't give you a choice unless you go into the Visual Studio properties and tell it not to auto vectorize. Let's take now a minute to talk about what threading is. Threading uses multiple CPU cores each to execute different code simultaneously. Threads can also execute the same code with different data. Those are two similar uses for threads. Threads are best when they each have their own core. What do I mean by that? Well, for instance, if you use eight threads, if you specify eight threads, and you only have four cores, it won't be nearly as effective as four threads with four cores. What it does is it looks for four cores. It assigns multiple threads to a single core. Now for some threading code. So I have a breakpoint set right here. Let me run the debugger, and I'm going to go ahead and disassemble this. And what you're going to see, all this looks pretty normal, until you get here to Silk Spawn. Silk Spawn actually creates a thread and spawns it on your behalf. While you can't see any threading code here, um, it is behind this Silk Spawn method. Okay, so now we have threading implemented. Let me go ahead and break the debugger. Now I'm going to go ahead and change this completely. 
Okay, after a little video splicing magic, I have completely changed this code so that there is a loop here. And what we want to see is, will Visual Studio, or actually I'm using the Intel compiler, will the Intel compiler give us vectorization within a thread? So let me go ahead and set a breakpoint here. Run this. <laughs> 